Hey yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how you can sleep in an EV like this one, MG ZS EV. So, damn these dogs, man. Okay, but you know, EV is the perfect car for camping, for when you want to, when you need to quarantine in here. And I can show you how comfortable it is to sleep in here. So, let's get started. So in the trunk here, I have this one, which is inflatable mattress. And I also have, well, it's fun. I don't know if you guys seen it before. It's the Metron cable for Thailand. You see, it has plug like this. Yeah, but let's uh, get, what the heck? What is this stuff, man? Shoes and shit? Okay, well, you know what? Uh, the trick here. First, you take out this one, uh, put it somewhere. And then what you can do is you're gonna sleep. We need to lower, oh shit. Uh, what you can do is that you put all these shoes uh, somewhere like this. I don't know what the heck. So just lift up this part and then put all that crap under there uh, like this. You see, it, it becomes the perfect compartment for storing all your shit. All right, because we need it to, we need to rise the, the floor like this. Yes, now we are ready. And then, oh, I'm gonna show you also the trick with these afterwards. Now first we have to, what the heck? This, okay, I don't know, we've been, we've been shopping. So I guess we have to put this somewhere. Uh, this is Litchi, free, uh, fresh one. Okay, I have to move some of this stuff over. Uh. So, I guess, you know what, we can just put it in the front seat. Yeah, that works for now. Just put it there. I have to fold the seats. That's the first step you have to do. Okay. Oh, okay, I forgot. Uh, this one, oh, what the heck. Wifey has so much stuff in the car. It's so nice that we have so much space. But this one, I mean, you can, you can leave it on the partial shelf, but I will just take it out for now to, uh, yeah, so you can see better. So you can choose to have it on or take it off. And then we have to fold the seats. So it doesn't have any fancy button like the ball Y. So you have to do it like this. Uh, and this one. Ooh, look now, yes. And now we bring uh, the mattress. Okay. Now we have, to, we have to suck it, I mean pump it. So unfortunately I don't have the, the pump with me. So we just have to use the mouth, which also works. You have no idea how far you can get with your mouth. So I'm gonna show you here. Whoa, okay. Okay, you see, just blow it long enough until it's nice and long and hard. There's nothing like a good blowjob. Then you just squeeze in like this. Oh, I'm about to pass out now. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Anyway, let's hurry. So I think I actually prefer to push it in here, but you see, this is the problem with the MG ZS EV is because it's too short. If it was Model 3, it would just whoop, go straight in there. But we could just, uh, we can push the seat forward. So you want to push it quite far because it's the short Asian car, unlike a Tesla. So you probably want to just put it in a position as a typical Toyota driver. I think, I think most Toyota drivers, they drive like this. Yeah, this is good. A little bit more. Yeah, this is this is good. Nice and safe. So if something happens, we have the airbag here. Uh, let's get out. Freaking, I'm a big fat ass. I can't get out. Okay. And see now? Oh, yes, now we can close the hatch 
but I'm going to show you a small problem here. So if you look here, you see, there is a huge gap here where, yeah, you will, I mean, if you try to lay down here, it will just be like that. So, but I brought this, which is a typical uh, travel suitcase. So this one will fit perfectly here. I just squeeze it in here like this. There, look at that. That adds sufficient support for that side. So ooh, now we have, uh, wait, hang on. Okay, I just realized I did a small mistake because uh, because this one here is, uh, you have to cover the windows uh, to save a little bit of energy and you don't want that sunlight in your face. So I should have done this before I move the seat forward. It's clumsy of me. It's squeeze in here, you buy it from eBay. Uh, okay, now we're good. Now I have to get out. Okay, good. Oh yeah, this is so comfy, man. Mm. Hmm, but wait, we're not done yet. Okay, we have to cover the windows in the side. Oh yeah, so in the back looks like this. You see, we've used one front windscreen cover there, one on the side there, and we have the front one there. So this is pretty good. Yeah, we have lots of space here. You see, let me, let me move over to this side. So, okay, let me take some of the cover. It's a bit too dark here. Okay, what is important is that you have to go to the front here and then lock the car from inside. Yes, so now it's safe. Yes, and when you're sleeping here, no one can penetrate you. And you should also switch the light to the park setting here, yes. So you don't have the headlights on. And wow, I actually have quite a lot of space here. You see, I'm... Uh, I'm a fairly long, I'm a fairly tall Asian. I'm 173 centimeter, yes. And look, I can stretch my leg fully. There's even space for, for another, well, for a woman over here. An Asian woman, maybe even two, one on each side. Yeah, or at least, at least space for me and another person. Ooh, and you see, the air conditioning is running. And if I'm too uh, hot here, I could say, hello, MG. เพิ่มพัดลม <laughs> Oh, that's nice and cool. How about But sunroof? <laughs> nice. Oh, I can just lay here and look at the nice view. Oh, the long country. Hey, there's too much debris coming in here. What the heck? Okay. Hello, MG. Hello, MG. Pizza and Louvre. Pizza and Louvre. Oh, yeah. Man, that voice control is awesome. And if you think you're all, oh, but I'm going to run out of oxygen in here. Well, love a cat, knock. Hello, MG. Hello. Love a cat, knock. Crap, crap, chai. Just turn off recirculation. Uh, this is a nice, okay, you don't have that in the European version of uh, MG. There's no voice control there, but I guess other cars can do it. Oh, uh, and as for electricity, um, I use about 10% during the night. So uh, you can run this for a long time, yes. Most of the time you don't have to run it for 24 hours. If you run it for 24 hours, this one has a uh, about 44 kilowatt hour battery. So you can run it for several days before you have to go and charge somewhere. So this is a perfect place to stay, I guess, away from people. You don't have to pay for expensive hotel, which 
can be bad anyway. You don't want to go there. So just sleep in here, nice and comfortable and safe and cheap yeah, and very convenient. You can sleep anywhere. So I slept so many times in my Teslas, man. So yeah, and the best thing is that it costs you almost nothing running the air conditioning here. It's very efficient and you will actually wake up in the morning, which will not happen if you idle in, let's say that Honda in the back there. <laughs> yeah but i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later